New details now about recent church closures and mergers within the Archdiocese of St. Louis. The changes are leaving some parents wondering if we could soon see some Catholic school closures. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas shows us what this means for your child's school. Mallory. Yeah, enrollment for the elementary schools, the Catholic elementary schools, is all broken down on the All Things New website. The Archdiocese says that they are at about 65% capacity. Just months after finalizing phase one of All Things New, the Archdiocese of St. Louis says they are now looking to meet with Catholic schools. The All Things New website says the more than 80 Catholic elementary schools are seeing less than 65% enrollment. It says other factors, including building maintenance, declining enrollment, and the cost are all factors being considered as the consultation process with one third of the elementary schools begins. That would be 25 out of the 80 grade schools in the area. And of course, this would have devastating consequences to families and to kids. Bob Onder is pushing back against the All Things New plans and says parents are coming to him with concerns. I think some parents are telling me they're concerned that same process, that lack of transparency is going on with these school closures. The Archdiocese says in a statement last year, they postponed any changes to elementary schools for this school year. It goes on to say now that the parish decrees have gone into effect, the Office of Catholic Education and formation is setting up meetings with pastors to discuss long-term sustainability. Ander hopes to see the Archdiocese communicate with parents as well. If there are a third of the parishes that are in the sites of the Archdiocese that they're, that they're looking at closing those schools, they should be transparent now so parents who don't have to worry can rest easy, but parents whose schools are being closed can make other plans. And again, the Archdiocese is going to be meeting with those pastors over the next couple of months. They say that they should have more information that they'll be releasing in December. Reporting live, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.